Hello folks, Jeff Head here again today with today's thoughts. Um, we're going to show uh, some unprofessional truck driving here and then we're going to show you how to do it right. And in the process, we're going to count lives at stake. The guy taking the video, his life is, is at stake here. Uh, the guy you're fixing to see on the left, now we're playing with his life. Um, I want everybody to know that you know safe and legal truck drivers are out here. You need to know the difference between us and these renegades, these well, I mean, I'll let you decide what they are, uh, but they definitely do not need to be behind the wheel of big trucks. Okay, so we've got two trucks. We've already counted their lives. You see the car on the right here. They're putting that car at risk. There's no telling how many cars are behind him. Um, we're going to see some more here because these guys are playing, you know, king of the highway here. They, they're they not giving up on each other for nothing. they they got to be first, unprofessional, unsafe. Four. That's four lives. That car right there. Now let's see how many more we're going to lives we're going to put at stake to prove who's the bigger truck driver here. There's five. There's six. They're running these guys off the road, trying to you know prove who's going to be the big truck driver out front here. Uh, where are we have seven, eight, nine. Did I, if I counted that right, that was nine lives put at stake. Know the difference between safe and legal truck drivers when you see these morons like this. Get as far away from them as you possibly can. Now let's go take a look at how to do this right as a professional truck driver. Don't figure this game out. This guy is going to be doing anything to put himself in the most dangerous situation on that highway in front of my truck. There's only one thing left for me to do at this point, and that's to get as far away from this man as I possibly can. So one of the tactics that I use from here is get off at a ramp. But as you can see, this ramp here. It comes down around, and I would have to U-turn my 18-wheeler at the bottom of that ramp to get back up. So I fall back on my speed, doing the unsafe, safe thing of running 55 mile an hour in a 75 mile an hour zone. But that's what it takes to get away from that guy, because he's speeding up, slowing down, speeding up, slowing down. Try to pass him, he's going to race you. You get in front of him, he's going to come back around you. He's going to get right in front of you. He's going to slow down again. He's going to do everything he can to keep himself to where he can text on that phone but not cause an accident. He don't mind, well, he don't mind if he causes somebody else to cause an accident, but he's going to do everything he can so that he don't cause an accident. So we come to the bottom of the ramp and we sit down there. This is all coming off my 14 hour. I've, I've got a log book I've got to keep up with. And all this is coming out of that time. But the most important thing here is we got away from him. We saved his life, my career, and that's my job as a professional driver. Have a good day, folks. Um, I hope this, this helps you some realizing what you look like when you're texting. I hope, she, I, I hope it helps you to figure out 
your job when it comes to you know keeping these people alive. And um, that's it for me. I'm out of here, everybody. Uh, drive safe. Hope you make a dollar or two at it.